Hello everyone, my name is Heike Banke. I'm a ballerina with a degree in business and my personal story has led me to profound investigations about where our physical issues really come from and what we can do on a physical, mental and emotional level to overcome them. Today I would like to talk about a phenomenon which I'm sure everybody really knows. When something didn't work out or, or didn't happen as we wanted to, then we have an excuse, like it is because of, it is because of, it is because of. But very often it is surely, it has nothing, it surely has nothing to do with ourselves. In fact, it has only to do with ourselves or with our point of attraction. And of course, it is so much easier to blame someone else or a situation or circumstances, things, so something didn't, didn't go our way. But really, it is our responsibility. Everything in life is our responsibility because we are creating it with our personal energy, focus, vibration and really where we stand energetically. The more you become um, a spiritual person, meaning the more you overcome your ego, the more you get out of the victim world, blaming others or circumstances for what you experience and you acknowledge that it is coming from what you are sending out energetically. It must not necessarily always be what you're thinking at that very moment, but if you have an underlying belief which can be even contrasting to what you think now, like you're thinking, really, every man is always taking advantage of me, they are not very much driven, so they like my creativity, uh, so I, and I have the drive, and I always have to, to drag them somewhere. And then you meet a person who is totally different. Yeah? But, still, your underlying belief is something else. So, the question is now, is your energy, your consciousness, your awareness big enough to acknowledge that this person is different and that it would be nice to spend time with that person or are you actually driven by your underlying beliefs and you would not even take this person into consideration for a conversation. So you see that really everything in your life is not happening by chance, it is happening for a reason. And to go the easy way of blaming someone else is just making yourself weak because it shows that you, or it is an attitude of showing that you have no control over your life. But really, you are in control of your life because you are creating it. And the moment that you take on the full responsibility for your life and everything in it is the starting point where you overcome your ego and can really create a new life of how you want it to be. So, don't blame anything. Even if it looks like the situation is such that you don't have a choice Remember, you have created it that way because you wanted to experience this. And does it not feel so much better to think, okay, I have decided to experience this, then, oh my God, there is no other way, there is no, nothing else I can do. First, do you understand how you are in control and empowered in the first way and absolutely powerless in the second? So I would like to inspire you to take absolute control over your life and to acknowledge that it is your creation entirely. If you like an affirmation for this, to help you with this, it could be something like, I now take 
full responsibility for my life. Thank you very much and have a great day.